Hi guys, today I am going to show how hackers crack WPA2 Wi-Fi passwords. Most of the modern Wi-Fi routers use WPA2 encryption nowadays. In this video, we are going to capture WPA2 handshakes that are sent by a client to an access point or a router. So we are going to use Airmon NG in this video. For this attack, we need a wireless adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection. For this video, I am going to use TP-Link's AC600 Archer T2U Plus that has chipset of Realtek RT8812AU. I'll give the link of the affordable Wi-Fi adapters supporting monitor mode in the description. I'll show you how to check what chipset you have in your Wi-Fi adapter. Type this command ls usb. Now it will show all the Wi-Fi adapters connected to your Kali Linux machine. So we have uh, this Wi-Fi adapter showing TP-Link Archer T2U Plus. So after uh, we are done connecting our Wi-Fi adapter with Kali Linux machine. Now let me tell you that what are handshake packets that we are going to capture. So these are four packets sent when the client connects to the network. It does not contain any key but it has the data that helps to tell if the key is valid or not. So let's get started. Firstly, we are going to set our Wi-Fi adapter in the monitor mode. To check if our Wi-Fi adapter is in the monitor mode, type this command iwconfig. It tells if our uh, Wi-Fi adapter is in the monitor mode or of manage mode. It is in the manage mode. To turn it into the monitor mode, type this command ifconfig wlan 0 down. Now, this WLAN 0 is my Wi-Fi adapter's interface. To check your Wi-Fi adapter's interface, just simply type ifconfig. Now it will show the Wi-Fi adapter's interface. Now again type that command ifconfig WLAN 0 down. Now what this command does is, it disables Wi-Fi adapter's network interface. So now type this command aomon ng check kill now what this command will do is it will uh, just disable all the uh, processes conflicting aomon ng now this command is a good practice before enabling monitor mode now to enable the monitor mode type this command aomon ng start WLAN 0 Now it will turn on the monitor mode on this adapter Now turn on the Wi-Fi network interface with this command if config WLAN 0 up Now we have successfully enabled the uh, monitor mode in our Wi-Fi adapter now by using the arrow dump ng, we are going to capture the handshake packets. Now with this command that I'm going to type on the screen, we are going to capture all the Wi-Fi routers around me. Now type this command arrow dump ng double hyphen band abg my Wi-Fi routers interface. Now that abg tells us that we want all the uh, 2.4 and 5 word bands router around me now when we are satisfied with the router that we want we will copy the mac address of or the bss id that is mentioned over here these are the bss ids of the routers now copy the mac address or the bss id of this router that you want now type arrow dump ng and now double hyphen bss id now type the uh, mac address or the bss id of the uh, router and type hyphen channel here we are going to type the channel it is it was working on it was 52 over here in my case and now type write you now because we are going to capture uh, uh, the handshake and save it in a file so we are going to save it in a uh, file uh, we will name it as uh, wpa2 handshake okay and 
now we have to write the Wi-Fi adapters interface name. So now we know handshake can only be captured when the client connects to the router. So we can't wait for any device to connect. So uh, we will de-authenticate any device or remove any device that is connected to a network. When it connects back to a network, we will capture the handshake. So now open a new terminal. Now uh, for de-authentication uh, attack, just type this command airplay ng double hyphen d auth now type the number for the how many seconds you want to last this attack i would type four seconds because we want a short period of time that the device disconnects and connects it automatically back to the uh, network that it was disconnected from now type hyphen a and type the the mac address of the uh, router and type hyphen c that is the MAC address of the client and type uh, Wi-Fi adapters interface. Now the deauthentication attack has happened. Now when the device reconnects again, Aerodump NG has uh, captured the handshake. Here we can uh, see that. Now we can close all these programs. Now we can see if uh, the, this is captured somewhere. Now type ls and we can see that here my all WPA handshakes are captured. Now we are going to crack the Wi-Fi password using aircrack ng. So now type aircrack aircrack ng. Now type the name of the file that you mentioned before running the air, aerodump ng. In my case, it was a WPA2 as shown here. WPA2 handshake uh, 01 .cap. You have to mention the cap file here. Now type hyphen w for the word list. I'll give you the word list in the description. You can follow that uh, word list and type it over here. If you have a word list in the uh, download, just type this directory. The name of this word list is rockyou.txt. Okay, it will use this word list to crack the password. It has more than uh, six lakh passwords. It it will go through all the passwords and crack it. So what it does is it check if the MIC of the handshake matches with the MIC generated by the passwords. So here it it is showing that it will take around thirty four minutes. I'll give the example like uh, if it has got the password. Okay. I'll just paste my password in, the, in that word list and uh, it will show that it has captured my password. Okay, so I'll open this uh, rockyou.txt file and add my uh, I'll close this first and add, I'll add my password manually. Okay, so I can show you that how it shows when it captures the password. I'll just type my password here and save this file and run that command again and I'll show you how it captures and uh, it will show that key found like in less than a uh, second it uh, got my password and it says that key found okay like this it finds the key and WP password is cracked like this so it is always recommended to uh, make a password longer than 14 characters that has also capital letters small letters or uh, special characters like at the rate and or the dollar sign so this is it for my video thanks for watching